Hello friends, you are welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we will be considering the topic we have right there on the screen. As we are going to be making progress. I want to urge you to stay attentive throughout the lesson for a better understanding. Straight away, let us make progress into the lesson. Proceeding into the lesson, we want to be considering this uh, footing details to be the drawing we will be using for obtaining the other scales. This drawing, I actually copied it from the drawing we imported from Proto Structure. I copied it from this existing footings, just as I have shown to us in the previous lesson that this scale 1 is to 50 is for this footing and if we want to proceed to check that once again i'll click right there scroll down to primary unit under primary unit you can see scale linear as 0 0.5 and i said you use that to multiply by this 100 which is the soft unit scale to have this 50. so what we are going to be doing is we want to be copying this particular drawing out here and then produce it in a scale 1 is to 25 and for us to do that successfully we will be taking the following step I want to highlight all of this CO to copy it and I'll pick it right there take it to this way place it right there all right okay this is too close to this one so I want to just have to shift it small I will just have to shift this more just like this all right so since i'm aiming to make this particular footings in a scale one is to 25 you have to take note of the existing scale of the footing all right the existing scale is one is of 50 just as you can see and you wanted to make it one is to 25 what you just need to do is it takes the 50 and divide it by 25 once you do that the answer it's going to give you is 2. That 2 is going to be your scale factor. In terms of making this drawing to be in a scale 1 is to 25. So let's proceed. I want to align this and then I will have to move this this way. Okay. Then for us to implement that, first of all, highlight the all of this drawing just like that okay type xc on the keyboard meaning scale hit on the enter button okay select at the base just where i am selecting all right click right there move your hand this way and type 2 now this 2 is the result of 50 divided by 25 50 is the original scale the 25 is the scale we are about to obtain. And so for us to, up, to, to up, successfully obtain the 25, we have to divide 50 by 25. Then we have to, it is the two now we are using to apply here now. So once you type that, hit on the enter button. And once you've done that, you can see that the, the, the size of the drawing has changed. Okay. I want to be moving this straight away downward just like that and change this scale to 1 is to 25 because this drawing now is no longer in 1 is to 50 this is 1 is to 50 and this one is now 1 is to 25 I want to show you something now in a minute if you zoom closely you notice that the dimension has also changed can you see that all right come to this way change this, this is 1.4 and this one is about 2.8 and so you can see that as the scale changes the dimension also changes so we want to actually bring back the dimension so what do we do and how do we do to bring back the dimensions now let us get the dimension back to its original eh, value if you select this and you go straight away to the another tab you notice that this layers is dimension line okay so select all of that right click go straight away to quick select 
Select layers. This is dimension line. In case you didn't see the dimension line, click right there in the drop down menu. You can be able to select the dimension line. All right. After I'll click on OK. It's the easiest way to select all the dimensions content in this particular footing. After that is done successfully, come to the property, scroll down to primary units. You are having it to your primary units. Uh, click right there. Then come to this provision. Click on this provision. Once you click there, you have this simple calculation. Just have to click on this division sign and the, the two that you have used in this provision is what you are going to input here. Then click on the equals to. You are having now 0 0.25. This 0 0.25, click here to apply that to the drawing. You click right there so you can see it has changed here. Since it has changed here, it has also changed the dimension. And so let's confirm that. So zoom closely and you can see the dimension has changed to 1.4. All right. Okay, so this is just a typical example of how you can change your scale without changing dimension. We want to be performing this once more using scale 1 is to 20. All right. And we are going to be considering this particular drawing. We'll be using this drawing to do that. So what we need to do is copy this one once again. And copy it from there to somewhere else here. Okay, I want to be moving this a little bit downward so it will not uh, jump packed into the lesson. After having that shifted, the scale we are considering is scale 1 is to 20. And so this one, the existing scale here is 1 is to 50. What you need to do is you will have to divide 50 by 20. And then the result is what you are going to apply to be able to obtain the scale 1 is to 20. All right. So straight away, I will be activating my calculator. I want to be entering 50 on the calculator, right? 50 divides 20, which is the scale we are considering, would be equals to. You have uh, five device two, okay? As the answer, if you come to the linear uh, decimal uh, provision, you will be having it as two point five, okay? So two two point five is the scale factor we are going to apply, it, all right, to be able to obtain the drawing in the scale one is to twenty, all right? So I will be minimizing this, okay? I light all the drawing just like this. On the keyboard, you type S C for scale. Enter. Pick the first point, extend your arm towards the direction, and then enter to 0.5. Just like that. Hit on the enter button, and you have this. So this drawing now has been converted for scale 1 is to 50 to 1 is to 20. So you need to now change this provision to 20, just like this. Okay? Now, if you check the dimension, you can see dimension has also been change successfully from the original 1.4 to 3.5 for us to bring it back to the original dimension you carry out the same procedure just as i did it previously i like all of that right click go straight away to quick select and then select layers then having your value as dimension like click on ok to get all the dimensions selected just like that go straight away to the property dialog scroll down to primary units okay you have this Click right there, hit on this icon to have a calculator, place a division sign there, and then type that scale factor there, which is 2.5, just like this. And then click on apply to have a changes here to be 0 0.2. The same changes will be applied to these dimensions. If you zoom closely, you can see it has changed to 1.4 from 3.5. Alright, so all of this has been changed successfully. If you should copy this and bring it closer to this uh, particular one, you can see the differences and on how big the drawings are depending on the scales that we have actually considered. Okay, so this is the drawing for scale 1 is to 50, this one, and this is for scale 1 is to 25, you can see how big and the difference. This one is for scale 1 is to 20, you can see how big and the difference. Scale is actually applicable in a situation whereby you have a drawing that is not that visible. You need to now reduce the scale because the smaller the scale, 
the bigger the object. As you can see, we have implemented it here. Now this scale now seems to be the smallest scale, but the object seems to be the biggest object. All right. So this is how this case is applied successfully. All right. We want to bring the lesson to a close here as we will proceed in the next lesson. Give the lesson a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Stay tuned for my advanced lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.